for 40,000 Texans and live via closed circuit television to over 300,000 viewers in theaters and arenas throughout the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. In this boxing ring, you'll see the World's Heavyweight Championship. In a 15-round contest for the Heavyweight Championship of the World. Muhammad Ali, born Cassius Clay, called by many the fastest man ever to win the title, defends his title against the greatest knockout artist, the big cat from Houston, Texas, Cleveland Williams. Cleveland Williams turned pro in 1951 and waited 15 years for a title shot. And still, it almost didn't happen. In 1964, he argued with a cop in Houston who claimed that Williams was driving drunk. A scuffle broke out. Williams was shot and critically wounded. Four operations and two years later, he stepped into the ring against the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Williams called the 24-year-old Ali a real good prospect with a real big mouth. Ali said that his style would aggravate and nauseate his 33-year-old opponent, and he promised to introduce the Ali Shuffle. Let's watch Ali dance against the Big Cat at the Houston Astrodome, 1966. Cleveland Williams coming into the ring, getting a tremendous ovation. Naturally, he's a hometown boy. Hugh Benbo, his manager, on the left of your screen. Harry Payne, the trainer. And there's Cassius Clay in the ring. I guess you can see from what has happened now that it is going to be a very partisan crowd. Jimmy, you know the champion as well as anybody. Does a partisan crowd bother him? Not at all, uh, Don. The champ realizes what he has to do, and he knows that the crowds are going to be against him. In fact, he likes this. Uh, he believes that uh, his campaigning in the past has caused this, and uh, as long as they're here, he's happy. As long as they've paid their way in, that everybody's exactly happy. exactly it, yeah. And it's a good crowd tonight. Jim, there's quite a surprise in the selection of the referee, an old friend of ours who refereed many, many bouts in New York, Harry Kessler, whom we haven't seen in a long time from New York and St. Louis, is going to be the third man in the ring. There is Harry Kessler. Uh, the silverhead gentleman behind one of the trainers. Well, he's an old pro and a good one. Oh, he's a good referee. The official, timekeeper Woody Myers, counting for the knockdown at the bell, Jimmy Lee. The ring clerk, Hugh Randall. The doctors in attendance at ringside, Dr. Arthur E. Moore and Dr. Jack Settle. The referee for the main event from New York and St. Louis, world famous Harry Kessler. Harry Kessler. for the heavyweight championship of the world from Houston, weighing 210 and one half pounds, P.A.G. Cat, Big Cat Queen Williams. A tremendous roar, great Cleveland Williams. Meanwhile, Cassius plays bars the in the background. The heavyweight champion of all the world, 212 and three quarters, from Louisville, Kentucky, Muhammad Ali. 15 rounds. We will try to pick up the... Try to pick up the instructions by the referee, Harry Kessler. Benny King is giving him the microphone. Watch the holding. In a real, real close fight, the fellow that does the grabbing and spinning and holding will not get the round. In the event of a slip, fall, or knockdown, you go to the farthest corner and stay there till I wave you back. Take hands now and come out boxing. The scoring here in Houston, the 10 points must. 
10 points to the winner of a round, nine or less to a loser. For an even round, they each get 10 points. The mandatory eight count is in effect. There is no three knockdown rule. No three knockdown rule here in Texas. And the count will not continue at the bell if a man is floored near the bell. A man knocked out of the ring must be backed by 10. The referee can penalize up to two points for a foul. He will tell the judges how much to take off. Play in the right trunk, Williams in black. Williams stalking his man. Nobody's been hit yet. Play figures to dance around in the early rounds and tire out the older man who was 33 to play 24. That he's just going to stop, but is not going to dive in aimlessly. Play finding the range with the left hand. a minute to go on the round. Williams got in his first punch, the left jab. Heavyweight king of the ring. Nobody takes my crown. Nobody. David Tua wants it. It's my destiny. A Samoan warrior with the best knockout record of any fighter Lewis has ever faced. You want it? Come and get it. Lewis versus Tua, November 11th, live on pay-per-view. Can the crown survive the fury? I'm going to ask Jim Brown, as we look in at Clay, what he thought of that first round. Well, it was a very good round for the champion. I uh, noticed he used his Ali shuffle. I noticed that after dancing around the first uh, few seconds, he decided that he could hit this guy, and that's what he did. Jim, it's rare that the champion opens up so fast, but he uh, found that Cleveland wasn't coming to him, so I guess he decided to move in. Here's round two of a 15-rounder, and few expected to go that far. Cassius Clay pumping the left hand, the champion in the white front. Williams in black.
great left stab that Clay has. Williams best punch the left hook. Two minutes left in the round. successfully defended it against the man who was supposed to be the hardest hitter. Of the third round, the bout stopped by the referee. Jimmy, take over. Real fire, Don. Well, it seems that the challenge is a little too old. The champion is a little too young and strong. 
I think a very interesting point is that the champion weighed in tonight at 212 and a half. And Angelo Dundee and myself always said that this was his best weight, some way from 29 to 212. And believe me, tonight you can see the strength and you can see the determination. Don Dunphy is up in the ring. He's trying to get to the champ. There's turmoil around. But I think it's a great fight for Muhammad Ali. I think he's proved a lot tonight. I hope that the fans realize that this guy does have a punch. He used his Ali shuffle. He did everything that he said he would. And believe me, in a way, he surprised me because before the fight, he seemed not to regard Williams as a great challenge at all. I think uh, for three rounds, we had a good look at what the champion can do. 